Hey guys, good morning. So this is a follow-up video of yesterday's check engine light. Yesterday, my check engine light was coming on and flashing. So something I learned, maybe you guys all know, maybe it's not new to you, but anyways, if your check engine light starts flashing, it's not now, but it's right here, it'll start flashing. And I didn't realize, but if it starts flashing, uh, take note of the of the times it flashes. Like if you can get a little video with your phone or something, because those are actually codes. And maybe this everybody knows this except me, but I did not know this. It'll flash like two slow ones and then a bunch of fast ones. And, and those actually mean something for your sensors. So it turned out in the end, it was the rollover sensor, I believe. I haven't tested it. I just changed it out and then we'll be testing it today. Uh, it's right here. The sensor, it's right in there. Kind of hard to see it, but it's in there. Um, what it is, is I tried to bypass it myself. It's a tip over sensor. So if the quad tips side to side, it shuts it off. Uh, a reason I bypass that, it's a pain in the butt. If you're in the water, you tip it over, maybe you can save it, but it stalls. So what I had done, I had taken it apart and this is what it looks like inside. And there's a little rocker in here. And when it tips, the rocker rolls in there. And I, what I did was I took this thing apart and I took the guts out of it. I greased it, I put it back together, and it worked for like four or five rides. But apparently, that's not the way to do it. It doesn't work. So there's a little thing you can buy. It's a little bypass, it plugs in. It'll bypass this if you don't want this. I think Honda Boat sells them. There's a few other guys online that sell them. I'm gonna go that route. But for now, I took the one off my 2017 Honda Foreman, and it actually it fit right on, it seems to work. So we've got no codes. Um, it seems to be good. So we're gonna go out and try it today. And if it works, I'll let you know. I see no reason why that shouldn't solve the problem. But just so you know, you cannot just take the guts out of it. It will throw it into limp mode after a while. So anyways, when you guys are riding, when the check engine light comes on, take note of the, uh, the flashing lights. It can really help you out later on. Okay, hope this helps somebody. Okay, bye.